Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Altenew. And this time I want to give you a new layout that combines a little bit mixed media with the 3D dyes. For this case I'm using uh, the Fantasy Floral Dye and also the Virginia Rose 3D Dye. And I'm going to start by creating my background. I'm going to use watercolor paper for this. And I actually have watercolor paper that is bound so it's going to make it easy for me to try to keep... It's going to keep very uh, flat when it dries so you're gonna see that I keep it on my little mat I'm not gonna pull it because you, you can actually run a knife and actually pull the piece of paper I'm gonna keep it bound so what I'm gonna use to create my background are um, navy colors in this case I pulled desert night and also um, dusk I want that navy tone and also that deep teal to create this background so all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of water I actually spread a little bit of water onto my paper and then I'm just adding a little bit of the desert night pigment and it's a really navy not navy a really dark navy blue and what I want to create is I just want to create I'm gonna say I want to cover a third of the paper with this kind of just a little um kind of a rhomboid shape on the right hand side of the layout again at the end project at the end product it changes uh, direction but that's the idea that I went in mind so you're gonna see that all I did is spray a little bit of water and that's just gonna dampen the watercolor paper so when I add the pigment it literally the pigment is just gonna run in the water that's already sitting on the paper so it makes it super easy to add mixed media on in this case a watercolor background onto my layout Again, you're going to see that I add more water. I'm going to add more pigment. I kind of help it a little bit with my brush just to add some splatters and kind of uh, help extend the size of my watercolor background. And I really love the shade of blue. It's the perfect shade of blue for what I have in mind. Actually, the picture of my daughter that I have in mind for this layout. And I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to play with it. I'm going to add some splatters. I'm adding extra water just to make sure that the paper remains um, damp and the watercolor runs. And that's the beauty of Altenew watercolors. Um, I'm using the refills in this case for the watercolor brushes. And just a little bit is going to go a long way. They're highly pigmented, artist quality. So it's um, they're actually really easy to work with. And then you're going to need very little. So you're going to see now that I am happy with what the Desert Night looks like. I'm going to add a little bit of Dusk. And Dusk is just a dark, dark teal with, I'm going to say with a, na with a blue tinge. More towards, the, more towards the blue than the yellow. So it's going to be perfect to add a little bit of um, shadows to this. And also bring a little bit of uh, extra color, kind of a greenish tone onto this layout. And again, I'm just going to add it to certain areas with the background just and then my, the way I'm gonna work with this I'm gonna actually lift up the paper because there's it's enough saturation of water that the pigment is just gonna run on the paper and kind of create a natural mix of the colors which is one of the things I love the most so you're gonna see I just bring the brush just to help add the splatters and kind of stretch the area where the watercolor is gonna run and then I'm just gonna literally lift up the, the pad the paper pad because I have a pad and just make sure that it the color spreads I'm going to make it, uh, right now it looks, um, I'm going to spread it a little bit more just because I know the flowers are going to take quite a bit of space. What I have, like I said, what I have in mind, I'm just going to have a cloud of flowers and the picture sitting there. And it is going to change the, when you see the final layer, I'm going to change the direction of the watercolor but i love the colors uh, i love the fact that and it's so easy to create like i said all you're gonna need is a spray bottle a little bit of the pigment and then just uh just add a little bit of the pigment onto the water and then just move the paper especially if you're using watercolor paper naturally the color is going to create a really organic um, watercolor look and now that I have that in place you're going to see that I'm adding a few more uh, spots of dusk just because I want to bring that green but once I have that in place I actually have the metallic watercolor right next to me that's the metallic watercolor pan set that Altenew just released a couple um, I'm going to say a month or two ago and um, just because I want to bring some shine onto this layer I love the color so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna mix a little bit of gold just to bring that yellow to warm it up a bit so you're gonna see that I'm just adding a few splatters of the gold um, paint just in some areas not everywhere just and I'm gonna try to keep it within the watercolor background that I added I just want the little sparkles of uh, shine in the watercolor um, part of this layout and once I am happy with what that looks like I'm actually gonna set it aside to dry completely before I actually use it and while that is drying I'm actually gonna start working in some of the flowers that I'm gonna use for this layout and um 
again because i the color that i chose for the background i went with something really yellow and something really uh, blue so what i'm using again is uh, the virginia rose 3d dye and also the fantasy floral and then i'm gonna use uh the um, green meadows just to create the stems of the flowers the green meadows are a gradient cardstock i'm gonna use the seashore gradient cardstock and also the i think is sunshine uh, um the yellow grading cardstocks just to create my florals then i'm using the my mini uh, blossom die cutting machine just to cut all of them so it's gonna take my time i'm gonna go um slowly build up the flowers using just the gradient cardstock and once i have them all ready I'm just gonna take the time to glue them together and that's the beauty of working with the gradient cardstocks i know they're on restock but you want to get them because the colors are just the perfect match it takes the guessing work out of you and makes it really easy to build in this case the 3d flowers you're gonna see how easy they come together uh it did take a while to cut just because i'm working on my mini blossom and uh but once i have everything cut it's just assembling them together and you're gonna see that the flowers are um there's always a petal that serves as the matching point for these flowers you're gonna see right now i'm just gonna layer them so that the petals touch in certain areas especially in this is the virginia rose it's just the bottom petal matches and then the next part is the top petal the one that matches so it makes it really easy for you to build a layer and then i'm just gonna add the centers of the flowers and i use the green meadows paper to cut the centers and then a combination of the green meadow and the yellow papers just to create the little um i'm gonna say it looks like the pollen around or the um, pistils around the center of the flower and i'm working with the virginia rose which was even simpler to cut and put together it just used the three shades of uh, the gradient cardstock uh, the ones that combine together to create and give the dimension to the flower and that's it now that i have all the flowers together my next um thing is building uh, my leaves and i didn't want to go with green i think it was gonna make it really dark so my choice is i'm gonna actually bring a piece of mixed media paper uh, and i'm using canso mixed media paper and i'm gonna bring my uh metallic watercolor palette i already used some of it on the background so i'm gonna bring a little bit onto the, also the flowers that i'm creating and all i'm gonna do is you're gonna see i'm gonna splatter some water onto my page mix a little bit of the yellow um the gold in this case watercolor and a little bit of the tealish and green watercolor and I, i'm just gonna splatter it on the paper and then move it around with my brush all i want to do is cover the entire paper with the yellow and um in this case gold no yellow i'm actually using the yellow gold and uh just to spread cover the entire sheet with the watercolor in this case the shimmer watercolor i don't want a thick application i want something really thin i want the white of the paper just to shine like to show and i just want the shine of the watercolor to just bring a little bit of sheen onto the paper and a little bit of color of course and you're gonna see that it didn't take me long but i'm just gonna take it off camera because all i did like again i added splatters i added some water and i just move it around with my brush you're gonna see it's not an even application and i'm okay with that because i'm actually gonna use the leaves of the um, virginia rose 3d dye to cut all the leaves um from this piece of paper now that i have that in place what i'm doing right now is i'm just trimming uh, around a half a half an inch of my um watercolor paper in my background and then i'm gonna back it with the paper this paper is from the our family collection and i really love the fact that it has the same colors that i'm working with and i just want to bring a little bit extra of those colors onto the layout so i'm just kind of frame out of the paper and i'm gonna frame the entire sorry uh background with it and you're gonna see how i'm changing directions instead of having the watercolor vertical the way i build it i'm gonna put in a horizontal way so i flipped it i want to say 90 degrees counterclockwise and then i'm just gonna mat my picture with the same paper you're gonna see that my daughter actually the the blue that i'm looking for is um my daughter is wearing and she's sitting in the, in the playground is actually the one that i used desert night now all it's gonna take i added a little bit of foam adhesive behind the picture just to make sure that i pop it off the page and i'm gonna start building my layer and the way i'm gonna create it it's gonna look like i said a cloud of flowers kind of moving towards the left of the picture just because the background it um kind of creates that way 
it kind of thins out or tapers towards the right of the layout so i'm going to create my cloud that way and i'm going to use a combination of the yellow and the blue flowers and then add the why i created my leaves white is because just going to break the color and kind of lighten it up so it's going to i'm going to take a little while just because i play with some of the different positions of the flowers and you're going to see that i'm going to add the flat uh, sorry the leaves the leaves in between just to break the flowers i'm adding some foam adhesive behind some of the flowers just to add the dimension the house to add to the movement just because ones are higher than the other ones and I'm actually also adding the flat the leaves just to help with the movement and also to kind of break the monotony of the color especially when I have the two yellow flowers side by side by adding the leaves in between it kind of breaks them apart gives them a little bit more definition and then I'm adding the small little um I'm going to see kind of buds of the Virginia Rose towards the end of the flower of the little cluster that's just going to help with the movement kind of say like that taper idea and then again my like I said my idea is to have a cloud of flowers so if I created uh, that little cluster towards the right of the picture I'm going to start building the little left and I want to make sure that my flowers go from edge to edge of the watercolor paper so you're going to see that again I'm just going to play with the position and I'm going to take it off camera this is pretty much what it's going to look like but I'm going to keep adding foam adhesive and the leaves so I just pull it out of camera and just added everything in place once I have that pretty, pretty much my layout is complete all I have to do now is add my title and for that I'm going to use some of the um, embellishments from the Live Your Dream collection. I love the cardstock um, die cuts and then there was one that says celebrate and I thought that green it was a nice contrast and also a complementary color to what I have on the background. And I use the word celebrate and then I'm going to use another fine day which is another one of the sentiments that comes in the die cut uh, pack and I'm gonna kind of put it underneath the celebrate after that I'm gonna add my lines with journal right underneath the title I just use a black pen just to write my lines with journal I just cause I wanted to like keep it very um kind of bring a little bit of the make sure it's legible one and also to kind of tighten it a little bit there's a lot of color going on so i think i need a little bit of black you're gonna see that i added a little bit also a little leaf at the bottom just to uh kind of bring the same look that i have on top and just to embellish this layer a little bit further i didn't add lots of uh, embellishments actually i just added one little circle um sticker from the reflections collection that said fun in the sun and then just um a little heart and a sticker from my stash just because it it gave me the word funny and I just wanted a heart um, to cover the little area on the bottom right corner of the picture. Just to finish this layout, I'm actually going to bring the antique, antique gold um, ink spray from Alti New and just going to splatter a little bit of the gold around the, um, the flowers and also the title just to bring some of the shininess that I have on the background. And that's about it. I love how this turned out. It was super fun to put together. Again, it's just an idea that clicked. Uh, I'm going to say it was around 10 o'clock when it clicked. So I just turned on the lights of the studio and just build it. And I love how this turned out. And I hope you try it. As always, if you have any questions on how this came together, do not hesitate to contact me. Make sure you check the blog post to see everything that I used. And uh, don't forget to check the Alta New Shop for everything that I used and also all the new stuff that is always arriving. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to check um what the rest of my design team members are creating they're amazing projects um i hope you have a great new year i will see you back next year thank you so much for joining me today bye bye